Hi, my name's Anushka. And I'm Isaac. The James Dyson Foundation, together with Dyson Engineers, have designed 40 engineering and science challenges for students. The challenges are ideal for home or in the classroom and hope to encourage inquisitive young minds like yourself to get excited about engineering. Using just cardboard, sticky tape and marbles, do you think we can build a run that keeps the marble going for at least a minute? Do you think we can do it? Let's try that out. Use sticky tape to attach the cardboard struts to the cardboard box, creating a run for the marble. A top tip is if you can't find cardboard struts, make your own by folding four inch wide strips of cardboard in half to create a V shape. Now that we've completed our marble run, let's see if the marble can run for a minute successfully. Place the marble at the top of the run and time how long it takes for it to reach the bottom. <laughs> it wasn't quite a minute. Keep improving your design until the marble takes exactly 60 seconds to reach the bottom. So how does it work? To help you control the time your marble takes to run, you'll need to consider a few factors. So potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height, so those are all factors that you'll have to consider. The heavier your marble and the higher your slope, the more energy your marble will have. In terms of friction, the rougher or stickier the surface, the slower your marble will travel. The angle of the slope is also important as well. The less steep the angle, the longer the marble will take to reach the bottom. As Dyson engineers, we are surrounded by sciences and engineering concepts every day. Some top tips from us on how to elevate your next marble run. So use different levels, textures, surfaces and challenges to get the marble moving creatively. Well, this is how we've done it and we can't wait for you to give it a try. Remember to show us your challenges by tagging us at James Dyson Foundation on your social channels. To find out more about our free educational resources, visit jamesdysonfoundation.co.uk.